visits Miami, and Kansas City takes on Seattle. Right now, the United States Postal Service... ...sack day against Philly last week. Someone asked Stray if he was happy about breaking Lawrence Taylor's team record for sacks. Stray's response, no. Did you watch the game? We lost. In a much better mood, Strahan and his gap gave Sal Palantonio a better inside knowledge of a sack. When I get down, I don't hear anything. All I can hear are the linebackers. I can hear the quarterback. I can see everyone, the line in the eyes. You just feel the raw emotion that's out on the field. Where are your eyes? What are they doing? The tackle looks like he's going to block me. I look him in the eyes, see how certain he is. <laughs> that's always pretty good. We look him in the eyes, see how certain he is. Yeah. And then I look down and I focus on the ball. I pick a spot where I think the quarterback is going to be. Focus on the ball, and I just say, come off as fast as you can and react to whatever happens. And how it. important is that first move? Um, very, very, because that's your that's that's my power move. Because I work everything off the first move. So if my first move is weak or if I run in there and I'm too high and get his hands on me, it negates anything else I can do. Shock you with the power when you're trying to recover, oh. then I'm able to make something happen after that. Okay. So what happens when you get around that blocker? I'm thinking, I got it. I got it. Just hold it. I got you. I got you. I got you. And the closer I get, the faster that I hear that. I got you. I got you. I got you. Bang. That's right. I got it, man. <laughs> You're about to put your hands on the quarterback. What are you thinking? You better not throw the ball. <laughs> you better not throw the ball. Right? I work too hard to get this close. You better not throw the ball. It really ain't that hard to get through. It's really quite easy. Just step up. I'm going to knock him so hard on his butt. Ah! Impact feels good. Yeah. I like it when you run through him. I mean, you hit a guy so hard, you just put all your weight on him. You land on him, you can go, ugh. I mean, that is probably the best feeling uh, you can ever have. When you hit a quarterback and you land on him and you face up. That's right. And you're looking him, you're looking him in his eyes. And he's looking up in a little bit of a daze. Almost like, man, please, not you again. <laughs> now you have a decision to make. Which celebration are you going to use? Sometimes it's just a fun celebration. Other times it's one of those serious where you just scream and you look at the sideline and you're like, come on. Other times, it's one of those where you just put your hands on your hips and you're standing like Superman. You ever start talking to him? I've been known to tell one or two of them, I'll, you know, I'll be back, or you know what, you're just getting started, or this is going to be all day long. All day long. That's right. You can't touch me! It's scary if you don't say something to him. If you were going to fight a, fight a guy in school, and you were talking so much smack to him, threatening to beat him up and do all these things that he just looked at you like he was crazy. Yeah. But out of ounce of fear in his eyes. That would scare you more than you're scaring him with your words. You I'm the same OG. And that is the thrill, to beat those guys, to get to that quarterback, and, and then to get off the ground and, and have that guy thinking to himself, I tried to do everything I could, but still couldn't stop him. Okay. You don't want to mess oh, with me. Oh. oh, you jacked that one up, Bill. You jacked that one up. Gonna bring it down just a little bit here to talk <sighs> some sex. I lost myself <laughs> for a minute. I'm sorry. Hey, we going to the party. We going to the club after the show. Oh, bring it down. Giants want to get Michael Stray in the sack record. He is lined up against the Packers today against Mark Tauscher. Mm -hmm. Who? Yeah, right. Exactly. A second-year guy from Wisconsin. What do they do to guarantee this guy gets the record? I don't think the Giants can do anything to guarantee this record. This is going to be uh, Michael Strahan versus the entire Green Bay Packer offensive line, plus their two tight ends. They are not going to let Michael Strahan get this sack. They're going to make it very tough for him. And the thing that the Giants have to understand is Michael Strahan is a great standalone defensive end. He likes to be outside where he can set people up. If you notice, a lot of his sacks come in the first half where he has set people up because then at halftime,
time he has to go in and adjust to the adjustments that the offense make. If you didn't get a chance to see a lot of his sacks in the piece, the music was great, but you didn't get a chance to see him using his hands. He never goes inside. He very rarely goes inside. He's a guy that uses leverage very well. He has outstanding speed. He sets you up with a plethora of moves, but he never turns his back plethora. to you. Plethora. He's plethora. always strong. Very strong hands, getting, <laughs> using your body weight against you. Plethora. Oh, I got kibosh. Add some kibosh. He had some kibosh to the defense, and he has the propensity to go up and get a lot more sacks. <laughs> the conundrum of all this is trying to figure out how he just had five and a half sacks after he signed his big money deal. Anybody still want to say he's loafing? Anybody want to talk about his gap? Last week, he was Kurt Warner's favorite target. Tory Holt tells you what it's like to be one of the sparks in the Rams' high-powered offense. Donovan McNabb led the Eagles to the East title, but how deep can he take them into the playoffs? Joey T goes one-on-one -on -one with Philly's QB. And who still has a shot at the playoffs? Trent Dilfer has the Seahawks on the verge. But are there still bad feelings between Seattle's QB and his former team, the world champions? He'll let you know next. Birth in their last act.